How you doing? Hi, pretty good. So... This is our, also Axel art. Okay, got it. Just a little bit thicker. Yeah, so these are actually, you know, this is your normal size yeah. uh, boom. Yeah. Um, these these are, are actually a large diaphragm condenser shotgun microphones. So like the capsule itself is bigger. Oh, okay, got so it. So what that does is small diaphragm condensers are usually, they have more noise. So maybe like this the, have- These are lower noise. So they're and also like quiet. higher dynamic range, that kind yes. of stuff. Yes. Okay. So it's it's quieter. It's gonna pick up quiet stuff better. Okay. And then also the fact that it's larger is it's gonna pick up more low end or more bass. Okay. <laughs> so these two are already yeah. out for yes. 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 like. Yep. Okay. Yeah, these are out. These are on our on our website. Um, Line. This is a stereo shotgun, so it actually does. This is a stereo one. Yep. Okay. There's actually five pins on the bottom. Oh. And you get a little XLR breakout. Splits us into two. Okay. Um, Come in the box. Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. The cool thing about stereo is uh, the mid side. We are not. So if you this has two different or three different options, you have. Narrow, oh, you can wide, choose different settings. or mid side. Oh, okay, got it. And mid side is where uh, one channel is going to be the hyper focused, and the other channel is going to be what's happening in your, Around. In your foreground. And you can mix those in. And okay, out, cool. This depending is on, cool. Uh, like, do that in post. Can we take it out? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is pretty lightweight too. Mm -hmm. So you need the right. tool to change it. Just a little pin. I mean, <laughs> yeah, pin or you know, screwdriver. So this, so what's the difference between these two large diaphragm? So the the difference. I mean, like um, your pickup pattern is a yeah. little bit different. So as you extend the the length, it doesn't necessarily it doesn't necessarily extend the distance for uh -huh. which it captures, but what it does is it isolate. It more isolates the low end. Oh, so it okay. better isolates. The low frequency. Okay, got it. So this, like this, will have a certain capture field, yep. and this in the same capture field will just have better isolation from extraneous okay, got low it. end frequency. Okay. Just like some kind of like built-in low-pass filter, that kind of stuff. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> One thing new over there? Yeah, so we have. Um, I don't know if you've seen our 2020 USB X. Oh, this is the USB mic. Yeah, so it's a USB mic with a capacitive mute switch. Okay. Um, this is a new pop filter that we have for our 20 series. Clip on. This will fit any one of these. Okay. Uh, which is cool. And then. Um, over here we have a it's called the stream set okay so this is offered in both usb output and xlr okay. um, but it combines our m50 headphones with our 20 series capsule technology from the, the 2020 okay and it also features a, a memory foam ear pad a little bit softer mm -hmm. uh, it's better for long-term you know wearing so we call it the stream sex. It's kind of ideal for streamers, streamers gamers, mm -hmm. you know, that type of use. Uh, it also has a flip-up mute, so when you flip it up like that, that's muted. 
Oh, on, that, on mute. Okay, got it. Um, lovely. Yeah, so that's kind of what's new. Okay. How about those lovely? Yeah, so we've um, those have been out for about a little over a year now. Okay. We used to have a, a line called the. Um, AT899, mm -hmm. um, but we actually got rid of that line and brought this line out with the BP for broadcast and production. Okay. So it kind of took the best things from that uh, old uh, just bike upgraded. and we just upgraded it. Yeah, uh, so same, um, same capsule, but just um, what we did is we changed the, the mounting, so the clip. The clip configuration, uh, you actually get multiple clips in the, in the bag or in the box when you buy it. Um, what different Multiple clips? Oh, okay. terminations, if you're just going XLR or if you're going to go into one of our, our wireless microphone systems. Oh, you, oh, there's an XLR version too. Yeah, so there's XLR versions. I mean like a mini SLR or a full-size XLR. Um, so it's a full-size XLR. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, so we have this little, It's these are uh, condensers, so they require phantom power. Yep, oh, um, okay. But we make this thing, it's a little, it's called a power module. Mm -hmm. It's basically the XLR with the adapter for uh, the fitting that's on the other side of this. Yeah, okay. Pretty cool. Yeah, thanks for sharing. Yeah, no problem. How about this XY? Yeah, so that's just like very similar to our stereo shotgun. This has a five pin output. Um, what this does is it, it's, it creates a stereo sound field. And you could do, I mean, you could mount it on a camera. Oh, um, yeah. You could, you could hang it. You could put this. Oh, it's an XY pattern. Yes. So it's basically two cardioids. Yeah. Um, and th what that's going to do is just create a cool or a uh, a wide stereo uh, effect. Yeah, I mean, like I use XLR, oh no, no, XY type of microphone before, and it just sounds immersive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, you can really like if you're shooting and something passes in front of the yeah. camera, you can really it really, really helps reinforce. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it. Cool. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Enjoy the show. Sure. I have a question for you. Yeah. So, the Nook is the, the 